Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about five things that men want but will never ask you for. And if this is your first time to our channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button to get more videos on how to have the relationship that you've always wanted. So a lot of people out there, men and women, they'll get into a relationship and there's certain things that they want and they need in the relationship, but they, they don't really feel like it's their place to tell their partner about it. Uh, and so we're going to talk about some things that men typically want and need in a relationship, but tend not to talk about because it's not really, they, maybe they don't feel it like it's okay for them to talk about. Maybe they're, they, they've been told that uh, what they want doesn't matter. There's a lot of reasons why a guy might not talk or tell you about the things that he really wants uh, in his relationship and you know he'll, he'll never just ask you for them. So we've got five of them here, and number five is really one of the most important ones. It's really one of the most powerful ones, so uh, make sure that you stay tuned until that one. So number one is he wants to be noticed for his masculine qualities, right? His masculine traits. So being masculine, you know, the masculine, what it is, is it's the provider and the protector, right? So it's it's him uh, taking care of things. It's him uh, protecting you. You know, even if you feel like you don't need protection or you don't want a guy to protect you or take care of you, um, that doesn't matter, right? Because uh, men want to feel like they're men, right? It, it would be like telling a, a woman that, um, you know, who wants to feel like a woman that she, it doesn't matter what she wants or to feel like a woman. Um, you know, men want to feel like men. And so if you want him to uh, feel really good about you and you want him to feel like he's getting his needs met, uh, you know, compliment him or appreciate him or tell him that you're grateful for things that he does that are masculine, right? So things like protecting you or, um, you know, paying for something or, you know, any way where he's taking care of you or he's fixing things for you or he's making sure that you're okay, compliment him on those things and he'll absolutely love it. So the second thing that a man really wants but probably won't ask you for is he wants you to respect him for who he is and what he does well. And so uh, respect is really important in a relationship and I've talked about this in, in, in other videos and other programs that I have. And um, really, men want to feel like they're respected. It's, it's uh, as important to them as uh, for a woman to feel love. Right, he wants to be respected by men. He wants to be respected by the woman that he's with, um, and uh, you know he wants to be respected. He wants to earn that respect, right? So um, a lot of women uh, that I talk to don't seem to understand this whole thing about earning respect. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't think that you should just give out respect. Um, I think that um, men want to feel respected no matter what in their relationship, right? Um, but I also think that he wants to feel uh, to you like he's earned that respect, right? And so what you want to look at is the things that he's done in his life and who he is as a man and what he's created and what he's good at and what he's talented with and, and kind of uh, the, the places that he's been working on in his life. And you want to uh, appreciate him and tell him you value him and, and um, uh, tell him you're grateful uh, or are attracted to those things that he does that he's been working on. And that's really, really powerful and, and uh, really attractive to a man. So number three is that he wants your never-ending, uh, undying loyalty and support. And so, um, uh, you know, he, a man, it's, loyalty to a man is really, really important, you know, and he wants you, uh, a woman that's going to stand by him. And, uh, you know, when he's feeling like he's alone or if, if uh, things are, are going badly in his life or um, you know, he's, he's fighting for something or he's, um, kind of in some kind of struggle of some sort, you know, he wants, he wants to have a woman who stand by, who stands by him and is loyal to him and talks him up around other people as well as to himself. Um, and if, if you're, uh, he wants a woman who really believes in him, you know, or, or helps him believe in himself. Like, uh, a woman like that is just, oh my God, like to men, it's just so, so apparent. 
powerful and so attractive and just, you know, it's 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 one of those things where if a guy's got that, he's like, I don't want to let this woman go. She's amazing. So number four is he wants a woman who will allow him to have his space if he feels like he needs it, right? And so there's kind of this thing out there in the relationship world where women are like, oh no, um, some women that I've talked to in our community um, have said things like, oh no, when, when you're in a relationship, you don't have free time anymore. You don't have your own space. It's all about us. And that's really this smothering kind of like, you know, pushing a guy away type of thing uh, because it's just really, you know, like some people need space, you know, and some, some women need space, right? I get women all the time. They're like, yeah, I need my space too. And uh, you know, if a guy needs some space, give him some space, you know, like let him, let him go hang out with his friends, you know, encourage him to go out and do his hobbies, you know, encourage him to do things that he wants to do on his own. It, that is like so attractive, you know, it's like the opposite of kind of like there's this thing in, in the, uh, uh, the, the relationship world where, you know, a guy gets into a relationship and it's like all of a sudden he can't do things on his own anymore. You know, it's like, you know, he's possessed by this woman and uh, it's really unattractive to him and it, and it makes him feel like less of a man. And so you want to give him some space if he really needs it. So number five, and, and this is just unbelievably powerful one, is he wants to be able to tell you anything, right? He wants uh, to have a woman that he feels safe to open up around and just tell anything to without feeling like she's going to go and talk about it with other people or feeling like she's going to like make fun of him. You know, there's a lot of women out there that are, that kind of get stuck in their masculine and they're like teasing guys and, you know, a guy will open up about something and she'll like make fun of him. And that immediately like puts her in this category of like this person that I can't open up to and tell things to, right? And Instead, you want to be somebody that he can say anything to, somebody that he can say anything to without um, him feeling like you're going to get jealous or angry or hurt or upset, you know, and, and I'm not saying that those emotions are bad emotions for you to have or that you should suppress those things, but if you want a guy to really kind of fall in love with you and feel like you're just this amazing special woman, he's got to feel like he can just talk to you about anything. And the, and the higher uh, extent that he feels like he can tell you anything, um, the more he'll feel like, man, this woman is just absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.